closely observed human behavior in your day to day life. Sometimes you may also think that you can predict someone's behavior in the future based on the past and the present behavior. You may feel the, that economic theories do not play an important part in understanding human behavior. Then why is mathematics given so much of importance in studying economics? This video will try to answer this question. Human beings are complex creatures. Even more complex is the economy and its varied functions. Though the relationship between economic agents and economic activities may look simple, there is a human tendency to try to make things look simpler and easier. The craze to make life simple and easy has led to the development of science, technology and the development of the economy. What has maths got to do with all these stuff? This is so difficult. Maths will make all this difficult stuff simple and easy. Suppose you want to explain the most common economic theory of demand. Knowledge of economic theory says that the theory of demand may be explained with the help of the law of demand. This law states that when the price rises, quantity demanded falls and when the price falls, quantity demanded rises. Other things remaining the same. The observations that can be made from this statement are First, there is an inverse relationship between quantity demanded and its price. Second, other things remain the same or in other words, price is the only variable affecting the quantity demanded. So, can this theory be expressed mathematically? Let us try. Let us denote the quantity demanded of a commodity by D and the price of the commodity by P. Then, mathematically we can express the law of demand as D is equal to A minus B P. Based on elementary knowledge of mathematics, the observations from this equation may be First, the law of demand has been expressed as a single equation instead of a statement. This has saved time and energy in explaining the law. Second, the mathematical equation is self-explanatory. That is, the equation itself displays an inverse relationship between quantity demanded and price and also says that quantity demanded depends only on the price other things remaining the same. There is also an additional information that even when the price of the commodity is zero, there is still some demands from the consumers. This is so interesting. Indeed, it is interesting, simple and easy to understand and also scientific. Does this mean that all economic relations are economic functions? Good question. No. All economic relations are not economic functions. To be a mathematical function, every single value of the domain, values of the independent variable, must be mapped to a unique value in the range or the values of dependent variable. If a single value in the domain is mapped with two different values in the range, the relation will not be a function. For example, the total cost of producing a good by a firm depends on the quantity of goods produced or the total output that is to be produced. Higher the output produced, higher will be the cost of production. This relationship may be expressed as C is equal to 5 plus 10Y. This is a hypothetical example where C is the total cost and is dependent and Y is the total output and is independent. Since for every single value of Y there is a unique value for C, the total cost of production may be considered as a function of the total output. Mathematics is only a language just like any other language. 
It is not compulsory to use mathematics in order to understand economic theory or human behavior. But the use of mathematics makes the economic situations look much more simple and the study of human behavior much more easy to understand. 